Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is Tuesday, but it's been recorded for tomorrow for Wednesday. Anyways, today is um doing you're done with the Star Wars movies, but okay, a few TV shows still go through. And that first one is I'm gonna do both seasons in one in uh, one video. Mandalorian the Mandalorian, season one and two. This show now remember before before Mandalorian, before I watched it, I had, but my love of Star Wars was kind of low because Rise of Skywalker wasn't that good. Solo was atrocious, and Last Shot had killed my momentum with Star Wars, it being one of my favorite series of all time. Mandalorian, especially Season 2, saved that a little bit. It got my interest back up a little bit. Now Star Wars is like up in the top 10, but it's nowhere near the top 3 anymore. Anyways, the Mandalorian is a great show. First season was kind of slow. Nine different episodes with him and, um, little baby Yoda. Um, so the first season was pretty good. The ending of the first season was interesting, though, when he, um, saved baby Yoda with help from some of the people we meet up uh, through the show and stuff, and I like that about him. The Razor Crest is an awesome ship in this show, in both seasons, I like the Razor Crest. And, um, yeah, this show is just... It's really good, mainly because it's, it takes place in a time, in an interesting time for Star Wars, and I just, I just love this about it. I love, and then in season two, the sneak peek of Luke Skywalker, that was awesome. That shows what and how Luke Skywalker, sh Luke Skywalker should be, and like The Last Jedi. That saved the show a lot, too. Um, seeing some animated characters in live action, like Ahsoka, and um, some of the other... Famous, I forgot the names, but some of the famous, um, other famous Mandalorians from the Clone Wars era in this really saved the show in a really good way. The show was really, it was an, it's an awesome show. Season one was kind of so. Season two was an amazing, um, the best scene, the Star Wars Mason's Rogue One. Um, actually, I like Mandalorian just a tad bit more than Rogue One, but Mandalorian, such a great, um, Star Wars show. It's easily, the last few years, my favorite thing is Star Wars for, since Rogue One, and I hope it has a little hope, and I hope they don't they take the Disney trilogy out, not canon anymore because that series is just so bad. To me, it's not canon, but I hope it, they make it not canon because the Disney trilogy is awful. Anyways, Rogue One, not Rogue One, my bad. The Mandalorian, I rate this in letter grade or TV shows. I get the show an A. And A plus because season one was kind of slow, but season two was such a fantastic Star Wars series. So, yeah, I give it an A. An a. Really good show, and he's the best since, since Rogue One for Star Wars. So, next, I got two two TV shows to go. That is, next week will be Bad Batch, and then Book Boba Fett, and then we're going to do something new. So, I hope you guys like this video. If you want more videos like this, please like, subscribe, and notification bell. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll do a diecast review soon. I just forgot to do it yesterday, so I will get one up here eventually. So I hope you guys like this video. If you want more videos like this, like I said, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And um, yeah, I um, hope you guys like this video. If you want more, like this video. And I'll talk to you guys next video. And I'll see you guys next time.